So hello guys, how is my favorite bunch of interpreters doing? My most favorite bunch of interpreters in the world. That's right, that's you guys. So hopefully everybody is having a good day today. And let me welcome you to Tuesday Terp Challenge number 15. That is a lot of Tuesday Terp Challenges and we have five more to go. So that's something to look forward to. And today I'm just going to get right into it. There's nothing much that I can say except for the fact that I think I'm going to be doing the uh, the Tuesday Terp Challenge videos. I'm going to put them all in English, but just for Patreon though. Um, they're going to be there for people that uh, the Spanish part doesn't work. At least I can give you something that might work, you know, English and just English. So hopefully uh, that'll get going, uh, if not this week, probably next week. I'm going to start doing that. That's just going to be audio, just going to get right to the points on this Patreon. I'm not going to do any ads or anything, just like just practice and just English. And I think that for the Patreon videos, I... I I think I'm going to be doing some more things over there. So those are just the news and let's get to it. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is a channel that is designed to get your interpretation game on point. We got this YouTube channel where we have lots of videos, um, tips, practice, just like this one, practice and vocabulary definitions, short form. So get on that. We also have a Patreon page with just one little dollar of your support. You can help to motivate us to make much more content and you get access to everything on that page. There are no tiers. So you get ad free videos, scripts to those videos, answer sheet to those videos and a lot more content. So go ahead and get on that as well. It's not going to be a dollar forever. So might as well take advantage of that. And for the short style videos, we also publish on, uh, well, YouTube, obviously, but on TikTok, on Kauai, Instagram, and on Facebook. So you can look us up, um, hashtag IYW, and you will find us, or you can just put interpret your world. And you should be able to find those in all of those platforms. So there is no reason for you to not study your vocabulary with us. All right. Now, uh, one more thing. Remember that uh, if we can get this video to 100 likes before the following Tuesday, I'm going to be posting the script and the answer sheets right on the comments of the following video so for number 16 we didn't make it to 100 on the last video so i'm not going to be posting that but that will always be available on a patreon can we do it this time let's try let's try all right so share 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 like 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 sub 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 and uh, now for those of you that don't know me my name is juan i am a video remote spanish medical interpreter with over five years of experience and this here is a quick round of random alternating English, Spanish, medical interpretation phrases loaded with vocabulary words to test the limits of your skills and knowledge. The best part is that it's every Tuesday, baby. So get your challenge on, get your challenge on today. And before we get onto the main dish, I have to sprinkle you with some wisdom, with some sprinkles from the wisdom bag, sorry. I'm always messing that up, but, oh, here you go. That was a big sprinkle. It was a little stuck. So here you go. More sprinkles, more sprinkles for all of you. I hope this sprinkle just stick to you and you can challenge, you can beat this challenge without a sweat. So that's it. Um, I'm being a little stingy today on the wisdom sprinkles, but I don't know how. Uh, you guys deserve a short video. I'm still giving you more sprinkles, don't worry. I'm not just tossing some random stuff at you. They're all wisdom sprinkles. All right, so if you want more uh, wisdom sprinkles, you can always subscribe and like, share, and you will get them every Tuesday. Well, uh, as far as five more Tuesdays, right? Because I'm only going all the way up to 20 on this series before I start something new. 
which should help you guys a lot. So, all right. Uh, how are we doing on time? All right. So let's get started. Um, you know, the preparation. Get your pencils. Get your markers. Get your crayons. Get your um, pens or whatever it is, styluses, whatever it is that you take notes with because we are about to begin in three. And get your notebooks ready, get your LCD boards ready, get your tablets ready, get your whiteboards, blackboards, whatever it is that you take notes with because we are about to begin in two. So I'm betting everyone is ready now. So we start in one. Okay, here we go. This is called an incentive spherometer. You're supposed to use it every hour while you are in bed to prevent pneumonia while recovering from the surgery and you are not active. La forma de usar un espirómetro de incentivo es inhalar primero y luego poner los labios sobre la boquilla asegurando que tenga un sello completo y no escape el aire. Una vez que haga eso, el siguiente paso es soplar el aire que inhaló y verá que se levantará el pistón dentro de este cilindro. Asegure mantener el pistón justo en esa marca azul que le coloqué. También debe poner atención en el indicador porque también debe mantenerlo entre estas líneas. Es algo difícil, pero lo conseguirá después de algunos intentos. Adelante, hágalo. I had a tick that was stuck on my leg last week. They had to remove it in the ER with some pliers. Tuvimos que colocar una sonda G o sonda de gastrostomía, ya que el bebé no se estaba alimentando por la boca. El bebé se encuentra estable ahora y le hemos colocado en una alimentación continua, lo que significa que se le está alimentando un poco a toda hora en vez de en un horario. I did check the baby's stoma. It does look a little red. I just called the doctor to come look at it. Other than the fact that it is a little red, it looks to be healing pretty good. Debemos realizar una ileostomía durante la cirugía para darle a su colon tiempo en sanar después de la colectomía parcial.
I am, I'm, I'm sorry, I need you to come in tomorrow to do a cystoscopy. The only way we are going to figure out what is going on is to look inside the bladder to see if the bleeding is coming from there. En realidad es muy común y no cáncer en lo absoluto. El nombre para ello es queratosis seborreica. Si le molesta, puedo intentar congelarlo para que se caiga con nitrógeno líquido. Le tengo que hacer saber que tal vez no se quite por completo en el primer intento y que tal vez necesite regresar por varias sesiones. The blood tests are, are, are <clears throat> I'm sorry. The blood tests are abnormal, which means we must do a further checkup. I am concerned that it might be polycythemia vera, since you mentioned it runs in your family and your spleen seems to be enlarged. Él es un adolescente. Tal vez muestra apatía por muchas cosas. Hemos mencionado que una meta será comenzar a hacer más de las cosas que le gustan. Más de las cosas saludables que le gustan. Es a lo que me refiero. Él también mencionó que va a intentar una nueva actividad a la semana hasta encontrar una que le guste. She seems to be suffering from delirium, which is this state of confusion that she seems to be in. I'm sorry that this happened to her. We already sent all the samples to the lab. I will come back once I have the results of the, of the test to see if there is anything that might tell us why this happened. Ya veo a lo que se refiere cuando dice que él cree que en realidad se encuentra en su casa, en todos lados a donde va. Esto es lo que llamamos delusión. Esto significa que el paciente cree lo que quiere incluso cuando se confronta con la evidencia. What you are describing is called derailment. This is when the patient jumps from one thing to another while telling a story, as opposed to you and me, that we will tell the story from the beginning to end in a linear fashion.
Me encuentro aquí porque he estado caminando sonámbulo en la noche por unas dos semanas ya. Mi esposa es la que me dijo porque yo no recuerdo nada de lo que sucede en la noche mientras estoy sonámbulo. If you see the baby in distress, for example, his lips or skin turning purple or blue, or see the skin between his ribs and around the collarbone sink in, it is because he is struggling to breathe. Those are reasons to bring him back to the ER. La serotonina es un neurotransmisor que es responsable por muchas cosas en nuestro cuerpo. Cuando tenemos niveles bajos de serotonina, tal vez experimentamos todos los síntomas que menciona. La depresión, fatiga, pérdida de memoria, cansancio, todo puede ser ligado a sus niveles de serotonina. Le estoy enviando un medicamento a la farmacia que le ayudará a reponer esos niveles, pero tenga en mente que puede tomar hasta cuatro semanas en sentir algún efecto. Es muy importante que siga tomando el medicamento, incluso si siente que no está funcionando. For the sperm count and testing of your husband's reproductive system, he will have to go to an andrologist. I can look up some names for you if you like, or he can always visit his PCP for a referral. All right, give yourself a round of applause because you have made it to the end of this video. And as always, I would really love to know what you thought of today's video. Was it easy? Was it hard? Uh, there were two segments there that were a little too long uh, for my Spanish speakers. I think they were in Spanish. I was going to leave one in English, but then I was like, oh, what the hell? You know, I must just leave it in Spanish. Uh, give them a little bit of a challenge. Um, Uh, I mean, not like you need it, right? Uh, well, for those of you that already have experience, you know that Spanish speakers, uh, sometimes they tend to uh, say a little bit too much. So you guys are probably used to that. And if you're not used to that, you have no experience, prepare for it. And hey, this is the perfect video to prepare for that. Uh, all right. So that was it, guys. Uh, nothing new. Uh, you have reached the end of this video. Congratulations, I have five more videos to go, and I think that either this week or next week, I'm going to be starting with a new series, which is going to be a series to improve um, memory retention, uh, but only for like in, in reading and saying back stuff, like only for specialized for interpreters, but it can also help other people as well. Uh, not necessarily interpreters, I can't believe it can help everyone that needs that kind of training for better memory retention is something that i mentioned on online sessions but i'm actually going to be doing it now i actually have the time to do it so wait for it expect it this week or next week 
it'll be incremental. Like for example, I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of 10 second uh, phrases and then I'll probably move it up to 20 seconds and 30 seconds and all the way to, I'll probably get to like two minutes and a half. I'll see if people are following or not and then we'll see if I continue. I wanna get all the way up to 10 minutes, but of course you noted know watches those videos and what's the point, right? So expect uh, memory retention videos for up to two and a half minutes. So that is it, guys. As always, leave your questions, comments, suggestions, like, subscribes, everything just down there, down below. Uh, it's always lovely to hear from you. I am always, always reading all of the comments. Maybe I don't answer right away because uh, I am doing too much. But usually Tuesdays are my uh, day to answer comments, sometimes on the weekends as well, depending on what I'm doing. So uh, go ahead and um, do leave those comments there. They're very important uh, for this channel, for me, to know what's going on with you guys, get to know you guys, and also to see how I can improve, right? Because everything, everything, everything in life can be improved. That is something that I learned from college. So college does teach you good stuff sometimes <laughs> all right so a big shout out to all of our patrons lots of love to you guys you are practically making this channel lots of love to all of our subscribers that doesn't even look like a heart um there we go that looks kind of like a heart i guess uh, and lots of love to all of our viewers and you that made it to the end of this video so love you thank you see you next tuesday happy interpreting